coordinate geometry. We are going to focus on this video at the length of a line segment. You will find this on page 300 in the Namibia Ordinary Level Mathematics textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. Coordinate geometry provides a connection between algebra and geometry. In a coordinate system, distance and lines can be represented by algebraic expressions and equations. This enables us to approach geometric problems using formula and algebraic methods. Let us begin with the length of a line segment on a Cartesian coordinate plane. Now, the length of a line segment. Consider the line segment AB in the diagram, where the point A, this is the point A, this is, so we just, if it's X, Y, we're just going to make a 1, 1, because we call this point 1. But we can actually decide also to make this point 2, but then we must just call it X2, Y2. But in this example, I'm going to call it 1. And B will then be 2, and that's why it will be X2, Y2. Now C is then the point X2, Y1. Okay, so there's C. So can you see, if you look, okay, I just want to highlight here. Do you see X1, Y1? X2, Y2. So if I look at C, this is going to be X2, do you see? But it's going to be Y1. By completing the right angle triangle ABC, we have that AC, let's just look AC, that distance, that's going to be X2 minus X1. And BC is going to be Y2 minus Y1. So if I use Pythagoras theorem, can you still remember trigonometry? So then I'm going to see say that this long one, the hypotenuse square, is equal to this one square plus this one square. So if I substitute, I just substitute AC and BC and remember to square it. And then to get rid of that square, I just take the square root on the other side. So the length of the line segment joining this and this is, and this will be the formula. So remember, it's the difference in x squared plus the difference in y squared. Not difference, but there's an addition between this. And the square root is to get rid of that square. Okay, so this is very important. Maybe you can just take note here. Um, in this case, if you're going to say, just don't put... If you put 2 there in front, put there also 2. If, it, if you put 1 in front, that's correct, but then you must put 1 in front also there. But don't swap it. Don't go and put a 2 and there a 1, or, or a 1 and there a 2, and there a 2 and a 1. So it's either the 2's in front, or the 1's must be in front. Okay, but let's look at an example. Find the distance between the two points. Okay, let this be point 1 and this be point 2. Doesn't matter, you can also swap it around. So if this is point 1, then this is 1, 1, and this is point 2, it's 2, 2. Then the difference in X and the difference in Y. So this is going to be 5 minus minus 2 and negative 3 minus 4. I just do substitution. And that, don't forget to put the brackets if there's a negative, otherwise you're going to get confused with the signs. And then it's 5, so it's 7, and this is negative 7. And if I square it and I add it up, and if I simplify it on the calculator, correct to three significant figures, it will be 9.90. Okay, so let's see. You can stop the video and you can do try now 1. And I think because it's actually very easy, you can just do number A. You can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Okay, let's start. Calculate the distance between the following points. Give your answer correct to three significance where necessary. Okay, so I, I always like to do it very nice. So I, if I start, so this is 1A. And if I call the points, I first write down the points. So it's negative 2 and 4. 
and it's going to be 5 and negative 3. Okay, now I'm going to call this, say this is point 1 and this is point 2, then this will be x1, y1. And this will be x2, y2. Okay, and now I will first write down the formula. So the distance, okay, I don't have an A or a B, so if I don't have an A or a B, I just can call it the distance. Okay, let's just first write down the formula. So remember, if you, you can put the one in front, I'm going to put it now. Do you see, I'm making it a little bit of, don't forget this is a positive. Uh, but then if you put this one, the ones in front, you must do the same for the y's. Also put the ones in front. So basically x1, so it's going to be negative 2 minus, it's just substitution, 5, it's not necessary for the bracket. But don't forget, I already forgot, you must put the squares. Usually in the second step you discover that. Okay, so this is going to be 4 minus negative 3 and it's square. Okay, and this is going to be negative 7 square. And this is 4 plus 3, this is going to be 7 square. So this is going to be 49 plus 49 and that is going to be oh sorry that is going to be 98 and if I press it on my calculator they said correct to three significant figures so I press square root 98 equals and that is going to give me an answer of it's 9.89 I'm just going to write it for you 9.8 9949 nine, okay going on but three significant look at the one so it makes it a 10 move on so don't forget it's nine point but please remember to put that zero so for the third significant figure so it's 9.90 and that will be the distance between these two points